All right, in these videos, we head to Lake Tahoe, Russian River, and Fort Bragg. So in Lake Tahoe, we check out that amazing lake and all those crazy colors with some paddle boarding. Also, I have a fun little stop when we're in Lake Tahoe that we'll tell you about. And then in Russian River, we found a really cool state park campground. And then in Fort Bragg, we check out Glass Beach. Come see what it's all about. We've been on the road full time for the last four years. We're taking a five month road trip up the west coast. Traveling with our four kids means four times the adventure. <laughs> this is Life on the Road. So we left San Francisco and made our way up to Lake Tahoe. It is beautiful here. We got in um, and then right away dropped the trailer and headed on out to the lake to check it out. And then tomorrow we're actually checking into a hotel where we are gonna stay for a couple nights in a hotel in town. So we are excited about that. But today we're out at the beach, we got our paddle boards blown up and we are giving those a go. Gorgeous! The life jacket handoff. Carson jumped out there without his life jacket, so Craig's trying to bring it out, but the current is not healthy, the situation. All right, ready, catch. All right, good one. There's Malia sitting on the chair, looking out over Lake Tahoe as the sun sets. See all the cool rocks over there. So beautiful. Check out this awesome campsite we have with Lake Tahoe right across the street there. Beautiful. So after staying just one night at that really cool campground by the lake in Lake Tahoe, we had the opportunity to stay at a hotel for a couple nights, which was really fun. And the really cool thing about this small little rig, we fit it right into a parking spot. So check that out. It is another reason to get a smaller RV at the trailer fit right into a regular parking spot. Pretty good, right? Nice tight fit in there. All right, so there it is. You can see it fit right in the spot. And there's the hotel right there. All right, when we were in Lake Tahoe, we got to check out the amazing Heavenly Mountain. So we actually took the gondola all the way up the mountain and you get this amazing view of the lake. It was so awesome. And then once we got up there, yeah, we did a whole bunch of things. We did some rock climbing. Uh, they had a really cool kind of inner tube slide that was set up. Uh, they did some ropes courses. And then we took a ski lift all the way to the tippy top of the mountain and got to check out the, the full panoramic view of the lake. Very cool. All right, here we go. We are going up the gondola. Don't forget his firewalk and you can You can see the lake, the mountains, and you can see your dad. See your dad. Like <laughs> Look at that view. Holy cow. So cool. Okay, we just got off of the gondola at the halfway point that you can get out off at to come and check out this amazing view here. So we are gonna go see what it looks like. Here we got to the top of Heavenly Mountain. And we got all the ropes courses and all the adventure stuff up here. You guys ready for it?
wrapping up our day here oh, on Jesus. Heavenly Mountain. It was really cool, definitely worth going. We should have gotten them here a little bit earlier to do things multiple times but it was, the unlimited respect. It was, it was. But the other thing is, you do come, make sure to bring your own food. The food was good, but oh my goodness, was it expensive. So yeah, a little tip there, bring your own Six food. Six dollars right. for juice and seven dollars for water. Uh, Oh my god, we're going Look at that. Down. Next, we headed to the Russian River Thousand Trails that actually had a really awesome surprise. From the campground, you can walk right down to the river and jump in the rapids and just play. So it wasn't too crazy of rapids. It was okay for the kids. So they had their boogie boards out, just riding the rapids down, jumping into the water, and it was a really cool thing to have right at the campground where you're staying. Yeah, for sure. It was hot, so it was a welcome cool off for the kids. We left the Thousand Trails and we headed over to the Russian Gulch State Park, which is right on the coast. Uh, that was a really cool campground. It had a little forest right in the back of our campsite. Uh, the kids were just playing back there for most of the time. and It was dry camping, so there were no hookups, but luckily we had a little solar panel that we were able to put out for some power. Uh, we had enough water in our tanks and we had a really good time there. We really like going to state parks. They always just give us a good feeling when we're there, so we really enjoyed it. So we are here at Fort Bragg and we are going to check out the glass beach and see what that is all about. Alright, we are coming up on the Fern Canyon Trail. We can walk to it from our campsite which is nice. So part of it you can do on bikes. We don't have bikes, the kids do. But we are going to try to keep up with them and then they park their bikes and we walk the rest of the way. Let's do this! So it's a really cool hike. It's really pretty. Definitely a challenge to keep up with these kids while they're on their bikes. But um, Craig and I didn't bring bikes this time. We haven't really figured out with the trailer and van how to fit two adult bikes on along with the four kids bikes. Plus our bikes were all rusty and nasty from traveling for almost four years with them. So we ended up just donating them. But yeah, this would have been a good one to have bikes with the kids, would have been fun. But instead, we're getting our workout in. Okay, we are wrapping it up at the Russian Gulch State Park. It was really pretty here, very cool. And now we are gonna make our way to the humble Redwoods State Park to go check out the Redwoods and see what that's all about.